What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bebop back with another video, and today we're talking about how do you signs that you know you are the one. I'm gonna give you five. I got a list, but I'm gonna give you five so that you could come for the part three. I made a part one on this, so make sure you go find that video. It's, I have a whole lot of playlists, and the playlist links are below, so make sure you go find that video. Um, make sure this is on focus. So today we're talking about, like I said, I'm gonna give you five signs to look out for to know you are the one now when i say you are the one i'm saying you are the one to change your family's break the chain of the financial crisis that you guys be going through maybe y'all is you know y'all set y'all good but you're you're the one to bring it to the next level um you're the one to show that you don't need to go to college or maybe you want to go to college you're the one to show that your how to be an entrepreneur you're the first entrepreneur in your family you're the first one to make maybe a million dollars i didn't make a million dollars but these are signs that you will be the one because i know i will be the one and I, it's not even like i just want a million dollars it's just like i want enough money to change my life and my family's life and break the chain of my family and like i said i know i'm the one and these signs are showing me that i'm the one I heard I seen these signs from pe other people that are the one that did do this already and they say look out for these signs and I'm this is not like a um this is not like a I don't know the word for it but it's not like energy uh you know the the universe chose you no it's not that like that it's just like you're the one that's born with the mentality you're the one that's born with the drive you're the one that's born with the path I mean you're the one that's born, I'm gonna just say drive. You're the one that's born with the drive. You're the one that's born with it installed in your head to change your family's life. No matter what, you are the one. Like you try to stop thinking about it and you keep on thinking about it. All the pressure is on you. And like I said, these are signs that you are the one. So I'm gonna share these signs with you because coming from someone that is the one, I'm gonna share it for those of y'all that don't know if you are the one. So before I get into this video and before I explain these five points to make sure you are the one, <laughs> I say that so many times, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and comment down below what else you want me to talk about because I'm willing to do it as long as I got experience and knowledge on that topic. I'm willing to speak on whatever you guys want me to speak on. So the number one, the number one sign to look out for to see if you are the one is random people acknowledge you or random people feed into you. Or random people are just they go to you for things so for example I'm gonna tell y'all a story that happened to me I worked at Lowe's and you know I, I worked in fulfillment fulfillment is when people place online orders and to pick up and um, you get a notification on your phone their, their store phone and then you just gotta go out pick out that object from the store and bring it out to them when they pull up that was fulfillment so um, somebody ordered tiles, right? And I had to pick out a certain amount of tiles. It was heavy uh, and bring it out to their car. And the person came in saying, yeah, I'm here for pickup. And all I did was help him bring him there. I'm, I'm doing my job. All I did was bring his stuff to his car. I'm doing my job. And for some reason, the man, he gave me a tip, right? And he was like, you're going to be big one day. Mind you, I ain't do nothing. I did not do anything extraordinary but my job. But, like I said, signs you are the one. People will feed into you. People will acknowledge you. Because he could have said this to somebody else. He ain't say this to nobody else. But he said it to me. It's like an energy that you give off. Maybe it's just because I had a positive attitude. Maybe because I carry myself nice. Besides right now, because I don't know what's up with my haircut. I just got a haircut last week. I don't know what it is, but people will feed into you. People will acknowledge you. People will give you compliments. People will tell you things to boost yourself, to boost your confidence. And it's not even like you're just looking down and people want to do it. It's no, I could be the happiest man ever. And then they will still come up to me and be like, yo, you're, you're going to be big one day. This man didn't know me from a can of paint. How did he know that I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to be big one day to support my family? He didn't know that. But I think it's just an energy that you give off on how you carry yourself, the energy you give to other people, and I don't know what it is, but that's definitely a sign. And that very next day, I quit that job. I still got a full-time job. That was my second job. But that very next day, I quit my job, and 
I saved that time to develop myself as a person. So I'm going to the gym. I got more time for the gym now. And I got more time for my YouTube videos. But that very thing. People will come up to you and just say things like that. And maybe they won't come up to you. Maybe you just walk them by them and they give you a little head nod. And then they just you, sooner or later they just come up to you and want to talk to you. That happened to me before too. Want to talk to me. And yeah. Like okay for example. Uh, I'm going to say it was Saturday morning. I was at a meeting one of the sisters from my congregation. We went to field service. And for some reason she just asked me what I wanted to do in the future. Mind you, we just out there for field service. She was like, you know what? No matter what, you could do whatever you want to do. You got this. I ain't tell her nothing. She just came up to me and said, you got this. You could do whatever you want. It's an older lady. You got this. You could do whatever you want. If you put your mind to it, you got this. That's what she told me. And then the brother was like, all right, we're going to go to this first door for field service. But you got to do the one to speak. I'm like, oh, snap. But she walked past me again. She was like, you got this. And I'm just like, you know what? You right. So I did what I had to do. I went up to the doors. I spoke to the people, you know, spreading the word. And yeah, it might not seem major to you, but these are signs of you being the one. But I'm trying to tell you, this is a sign. People just come up to you and acknowledge you. People just want to be around you. People just want to put their put their energy into you. It's just like stuff like that. That definitely shows you that you're the one. Number two, you got a lot of obstacles in life. Like me personally, I have a lot of obstacles in life. Now it's not as major as other people's where, you know, people have deaths in their family and stuff like that, or deaths of their friends. And thank God my circumstances is not like that. Thank God my obstacles ain't that heavy, but I do have a lot of obstacles. Like I said, I got in a car accident. You know, I got financial obstacles. Um, car accident you know i got bills to pay i got debt to pay how am i gonna pay the debt with all these bills um i don't it's a work in progress i'm not putting i'm, I'm doing trying my hardest you know i work two jobs i got a job full time during the week and then on the weekends um but it might sound crazy but these are obstacles in your life the obstacles in your life are signs that you will be or signs that you are the one you just gotta put in that work to be the one but these are signs that you are the one because the more obstacles you make, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. So I feel like my obstacles are happening to me because when I overcome it, it's just making me stronger, just making me wiser, just making me smarter as a person. So that in the future, you know, the bigger you go, the more, um, the stronger you get, the stronger you get, the farther you go, the harder it gets. It don't just get easier, no, it gets harder. And I feel like the obstacles now, when I overcome it, it's going to get harder and harder. But when I overcome these obstacles, it's going to teach me, okay, whatever else come my way, I could get over that. As long as I put in the work, as long as I lock in, as long as I grind, no matter what the obstacle is, I can get over it. It's called the obstacle for a reason. When you add an obstacle course, your goal is to get through it and make it to the other side or whatever, right? So these obstacles are set in front of you for you to get past it. You just got to work and get past those obstacles. Whatever it is, if you got to pay off debt, work to get past that obstacle. And then guess what? Now you know what put you in that debt. And now you know what to avoid in the future to not go back into that debt. Hey, so obstacles are put in your life for you to live and learn through these things. It's not, a, it's not an L. It's a lesson. So it might seem bad at the time, but when you get over it, okay, now what else coming my way? I got this. I'm going to get through this too because I got, I got over that. So I'm going to get over this. And that's how it is. It's just building your character for that person that you want to be. Like I said in my last video, the progress is better than the destination. The path, the journey, the drive is better than the destination because that's what's building your character. That's what's developing you into the person that can maintain the lifestyle that you want to live. If you understand what I'm trying to say. So the path is greater. The path is better than the destination yes the you know all the money you get from it yes all everything you get the nice car the nice house but the journey to that is the one that built your character built the discipline so that you know how to maintain this car maintain this nice house or how do you know to get another nice car or another nice house now obviously the goal is not to be um 
what's the word uh materialistic but like i said me personally i just want a better lifestyle for my friends and my family and for me to do that i have to at least have a better lifestyle for myself so that i can know how to provide for my friends and my family so i gotta work towards that and then when i work towards that i'm gonna learn things i'm gonna go through things and i'm gonna learn things so that i'll be able to maintain this lifestyle and help spread my flowers to my friends and my family now number um hmm i'm trying to pick these i'm gonna say this one number three you're always being stared at look bro i ain't gonna lie no matter where i go i'm always being stared at like i'll be out I'll, I'll go to target in pajamas which i'll never do again because for some reason whenever you go to target in pajamas all the pretty girls be outside but <laughs> i'll never do that again but you're always being stared at bro you're always being like I, this goes with being acknowledged you're always being stared at everybody's always looking at you but it's because how you carry yourself you carry yourself with confidence you carry yourself highly you don't you're not just walking around uh glooming uh whatever i'm gonna get this okay i gotta put this in the car no you're doing everything with confidence no matter if it's you getting the water bottle off that shelf to put in your car you're doing it with confidence you're walking straight up chest out you're looking straight you're not always on your phone while you walk. No, you looking straight. You walking, looking straight, chest out. Confidence. You carry yourself with pride. You got confidence. Now, obviously, too much pride is bad, but you feel good about yourself. You have confidence in yourself. You love yourself. I got videos on that too. Self love. Make sure you click that playlist, and I got you. But look, yo. People will always stare at you because just how you carry yourself. Maybe you smell good or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. You carry yourself nicely. And it's not even not even because you got the best clothes on. Just like I said, you carry yourself nice. Confidence. You walk straight. You walk tall. Chest out. All that. I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to go on to the next thing. Number four. It's hard to build new relationships. This is something that I experienced too till this day. But it's a sign of me being the one because look, bro, how I take it as this. I'm not giving y'all advice or whatever. Just me sharing my perspective. But this is how I take it. It's hard for me to build relationships because, you know, you got your circle that's with you no matter what. And that's who I got no matter what. But then you try to build new relationships and you try, yeah, it'll last a day, a week, maybe two weeks. But then it just fade off, which is fine. But I feel like this is teaching me, first of all, it's teaching me that people come and go. And then when I get everything that I want to have the better life for me and my friends and family, people are going to come in because they see the lifestyle that I'm living. But I'm going to have to dish them out too. You're going to have to separate it. It's going to be hard to maintain these relationships because a lot of people are going to come to you just because what you got. So it's going to be hard to build relationships. And, and it's also telling me that, man, you got to be alone sometimes. Like sometimes you gotta be alone. You can't only depend on everybody. How are you gonna be successful if you're only depending on somebody to do something for you? You gotta learn how to do it yourself. Yes, having people is cool because it will help you, but if those people don't uh, show up, it's all on you. You gotta be able to do it by yourself. But if you're always used to relationships, you're always used to new people just helping you out, you're never gonna know how to do things by yourself and handle things by yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. It's, some people just not gonna be in your life. Some people, it's just gonna be, it's gonna feel like just you. You're not lonely, but you're alone. It's gonna feel like just you, but this is teaching you, man, you just gotta do things by yourself, lock in, because it's good to have a team, but sometimes your team ain't gonna show up. You can't depend on everybody. And sometimes you gotta bring in things on your own matters. You gotta do things alone. You got, all right, they slacking, now you gotta pick it up. It's gonna be a lot of that. It's definitely gonna be a lot of that. So that's another reason why it's hard to maintain these relationships, hard to build new relationships, whether it's with a girl or a boy. It don't matter whether it's just being friends, whether it's being a girlfriend or a boyfriend, it don't matter. But for that girlfriend and boyfriend, your time will come. Don't rush it. I had, I went through things where I was just rushing it. Nah, don't rush it. I'm 20, I'm chilling, I'm single, I'm cool. This is my time to lock in and grind. And for the final thing, you're always misunderstood, not always, but from new people, you're misunderstood. Like my father, I'm not misunderstood. But my dad, my, I mean, my mom, I'm misunderstood, but not in a bad way from my mom. My mom, she's so used to, you know, going to college and working a nine to five for the rest of your life. But my dad understands that um, that's not what I want to do. And there's bigger things out there. Like there's bigger things out there. Sorry. Like, you know, um, 
trying to build your own business so you can work for yourself. You don't got to ask to go on vacation. You don't got to ask to use the bathroom. Nah, you want to have your life in your own control, not in somebody else's control. So you're often misunderstood by people and it's fine. And maybe it's because you look at things in a deeper level. Like me, I look at things in a deeper level than like the people I talk to every day, which is cool. They don't got to have the same brain as me, but I'm often misunderstood by them. Like, um, maybe I, I, I try to live my life by the best of my abilities from living according to the Bible and they don't, which is, Hey, that, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do, but they don't understand it on a spiritual level and is a hey, it is what it is but like i said they don't understand it so they don't they misunderstand it so i'm often misunderstood and maybe hey it is what it is like that's just another sign and it's just all up to me to try to explain it if they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear it fine but some people just don't understand what i why i do things or why i don't cuss or why I don't celebrate holidays or why I don't go to parties and I'm just always in the house working. I'm not saying I don't have fun. I just don't do the worldly things. You understand? So these are those are five things. I got more things to explain to y'all, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Uh, my camera's about to die, so I gotta shut this thing down. So I hope y'all got something out of this. If y'all want more videos, make sure you click the um, links in the bios. Those are all my playlists. Click the links in my bio. I mean, in the description for all the playlists, I got a whole list of videos for y'all, and then they're categorized. So make sure y'all do that. And also, like and subscribe. And comment down below what y'all want me to talk about, because like I said, I will do it as long as I got knowledge, as long as I know things about that specific topic, and as long as I've been through it or experienced it. I will definitely make videos on it. So like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I love y'all, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.